Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series. And I got an email the other day from a guy that asked a really interesting question. He asked if we can create a flight counter. So, you know, a counter that tells you how many flights you've had on a particular plane. And I thought that was a really interesting idea. Um, of course, unfortunately, the radio does not come with one built in, so we would going to have to program one. So I started thinking about how would I do that? Well, what are the what are the requirements for a flight counter? It needs to be able to count up every time that, say, you turn on your throttle cut. My throttle cut's over here, so every time I hit that, that switch, it should count up. And the other thing that it needs is that it needs to be that it does not reset when you turn the radio off, of course. So what stuff do we have inside the radio that we can use to make that work? And I thought about it and I go, hmm, interesting, probably trims. So trims um, are persistent. They will not change um, when you power off the radio. So that number will always remain in there. And when you advance it, it stays and it holds. So I essentially, that's what I did. So the first one over here is what I did. So that's just a trim value. Unfortunately, as I found out, the value displays in percent. So um, I set it up, and if I was to hit this, which is my throttle cut, boom, it counts up. And that works, but the problem is because it's in percent, you're limited to 100. And for many people, that's more than enough. The only thing that kind of sucks is you do have a percent symbol next to it because it is percent. Um, but if that's enough for you, that's fine. The other method that I figured out was essentially... Um, the exact same process, uh, excuse me, that's the exact same process to set this up, except I had to add one more step to make it a number. And the good thing is, is the number that I made it is essentially the number of trim steps there can be in a PWM signal, because I'm using trims to create this number. And so in other words, I've got 1,024 there. So that will continue to count up. So turn this. Now... Obviously, you may want to start your engine, test something, um, you know, with the throttle cut off. And when you do, that'll count up. So I did create um, a way to count down. Um, so what I did was I didn't want it to be something that you just hit and you accidentally hit. So what I did was I made it the function switches down at the bottom and I made it the last two that you have to hold down at the same time. So if I hold those down at the same time it'll drop down. If I if I keep holding it down, it'll just keep going down, you know, until it gets to zero. And it can, because this is a trim, it starts in the center and it starts counting negative numbers. So you can go below it like that. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and count back up to zero. There it goes. Okay. So if you only need a hundred for whatever your usage, let's say you don't fly like every day, a hundred is probably going to be more than enough for your flight counter. You can use the, the method that I'm going to describe now. And if you need more than that, like this one over here, this, is, this can go up to 1,024. It's just um, um, changing one thing and then adding another step. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you both methods right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this model. And I'm going to go ahead and go into this one that I just created. And all this is is a blank model. OK, this is um, the way it comes out after you do your wizard and you set up your ailerons and everything else. This is a fully blank model and we'll start with this. OK, the first step that we need to do is create a logical switch. So we need something that converts this switch, which is just on to a momentary for that logical switch, because you only want it to click on and then count up. You don't want it to keep pressing down the trim because then it'll just continually count like you know it'll just continually count up and up and up and up so i need to create this switch and convert it into um, a momentary switch essentially where it just clicks on for a second then turns back off again so to do that i'm going to model i'm going to go over to the next page and i'm going to go here to logic switches no logic switches yet so i want to add one okay name on this is let's call it um, I don't know, count up. Okay, the function that we want
is an edge switch. Okay, the trigger on condition. So what do you want it to trigger? I want to use this switch in a down position. And when do I want it to happen? So from zero, if I go back one to rising edge, which, I, and guys, I'm not a huge programmer. I just learn stuff as I go. Um, but I believe what this means is instantaneously. So right when it starts um, activating the, the, the switch, it'll, it'll instantaneously hit it. And the duration of the hit, so when, how long do I want to go is just a minimum amount, which is 0.1 seconds. Now, if you look at that red over there, the LS1, that's in red. Now, when I flip the switch, it'll just blink on green. Did you see that? It'll just blink on green for 0.1 seconds, and that's it. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so I created that logical switch. And the next thing I'm going to need to do is I need to create a trim mix. So over here in my mixer is my, this is my mixer page. Now, what I'm doing is I'm creating uh, what's called a trim mix. And a trim mix is essentially as you click, um, you know, say your trim, it'll incrementally rise, 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 rise. And so that's a trim mix. Now, the good thing is, is this radio is the XE and then the, the, I think the uh, X18 has extra trims. The X20 does not have extra trims, but we don't care because we're not gonna use these trims. We're using this. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one. So you add a mix and over here is trim. Let's put that in the last position. So it's at the bottom of the list and, and active condition always on. Now the up counter I want that to be a logic switch. And I want that to count up on the uh, logic switch and the logic switch is count up. It's grayed out, but that's it right there. And if we look, there it is, okay? Now, the range, I want full 100%. So the entire range of the channel is what I want. Okay, the next thing is step. So if we left this up fine, it would be fractions of a percent. So we want a full number. So what I want to do is I want to go to the bottom and go to custom. And I want it to be 1% steps. Channel count one and output one. So what I'm doing right now is I am assigning this mix to a channel. And I'll go to the end here at channel 64. And all I'm doing there, whoops, I didn't actually do it. So what all I'm doing there is putting this trim somewhere. There it is. Now. That's pretty much it. Let's go out over here and let's put that, um, say here, just for demonstration and configure widget. So let's take that widget. We want a value and what do I want? I want the channel and I want channel 64. There it is. So now, That's it, very simple. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do is if um, for whatever reason, like maybe I was testing and I advanced that and I didn't really want to, I want to need, I need a way to um, back up the number. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the function switches, these two switches. Now, um, these can be in different modes and I need them in momentary for this to work because what I'd like to do is I'd like to hit two switches at the same time. Um, if you want to, like on the X20, you can use the two back buttons and hold those two at the same time. Um, but if you're gonna use the function switches, this is what you need to do first, just to be sure. I think I'm already set up, but yeah, I am. But um, uh, yours may not be that way. I have this set up uh, as default because it's the way I, run, I like to run it. Over here, I'm gonna go back again, is edit model. So model, edit model. And in this menu, at the bottom over here, it says function switches. Yours might be as a six position switch, for example, like that. And then there are an actual six position switch. That won't work for our case because we can't hit them both at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that over to momentary and now it should work. Now, once you have that set, then the next thing you need to do is you need to go into logic switches and create a switch. Add. And I need it so that when I hit both these buttons at the same time, it works. So that function 
that switch is an AND switch, A-N-D. Did I miss it? There it is, AND. So value one, I want to use this switch. Value two, I want to use this switch. So now, if you take a look over here, always on is correct. And let's go ahead and name this one. Let's call it down. Now, if I was to hit one switch, see how it doesn't work, hit another switch. The cool, the cool thing is, is I love using these switches for my telemetry callouts, and I can still use it because I'm not going to hit both switches at the same time in flight. I can have this one tell me my GPS speed, and then when I hit them both at the same time, then it'll work as, see that green over there, as a switch. So now that we have that switch set up, let's go back to that mix. And it's the trim mix over here edit and the countdown or the down I need that to be a logic switch and I need it to be the down logic switch down there it goes let's get out of it and let's see what it does there it goes so there's a way to get out of it if you need to all right that's it that's very very simple um, Let's go ahead and make the other one. This one, again, is percentage, so it can only go up to 100. So that's six flights I've had. There's seven flights I've had, eight flights I had. Every single time I hit the throttle cut, um, I disable the throttle cut. There it goes, 10. And, oh, I made a mistake. I can back it off one if I wanted to. All right, so let's move on. So let's modify this one. And instead of making it a percent, let's get an actual number in here. So... I'm going to go ahead and make that on, let's just make it on top of this. So uh, the steps previous apply. The only difference is, let's go, to, let's go back to mix. Let's go to the trim mix again, edit it. Now, the difference is I want to do extra fine. There. Now, if I count up on and down on that, it's going to be in fractions of a percent. And unfortunately, it'll just round up to the 1% um, step. So it'll take like five steps or 10 steps before it moves on to the next number. Um, so what I need to do is I need to take this and modify it. And I, have to, I need to modify it. So instead of giving me percent, it just gives me a count. So this is the way that I do it. Um, get out of this. And I'm returning out and I go over to telemetry and no, it's not really a telemetry thing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calculated sensor. Now the formula that I want to use is none of these. I want to do a custom one. Let's name this count. I don't know. Counter. And the unit that I want is nothing so um, that's good i don't want a decimal place i want it to be um, just whole numbers and range is okay and source instead of having a telemetry source i'm going to make it a channel and the channel that i want is that channel the trim channel they created 64. and that's it so now Instead of displaying this over here, I want to display, so configure widget, a value, and I want to do a value, whoops, wrong one, not channel, I want it to be telemetry. And it's the counter, it's the only one that I have in telemetry, so that's it right there. All right, that's it. Let's go back to that first page. Let's take a look. There's my counter. So now I can count up. And I can go past 100. I believe I can go up to 10, um, 1,024. And if I needed to, I can back it off as well. I can hold this down to back it off if I need to, if I need to reset. I don't think there's a way that I can just like instantaneously go back to zero. I think I have to just hold it down. Um, but that's the only drawback that I see um, right now. So um, that's it. You've got a counter. I'm going to fly. There it is. And I'm done with my flight. And, oh, I want to test my engine. Oh, okay, oops. Let me um, reset back one because I um, did not actually fly. 
Okay, Peter, thank you very much for that question. That was a challenge, and I'm glad that I was able to figure out how to do it. So again, guys, um, um, if you have any questions, you can comment in this video, or you can send us an email. Um, the email address will be in the description, um, and I'm, I look forward to it. And I really do like, uh, I do read um, the questions, and if there's a good, valid question, um, I might do a video on it if I find it interesting. Um, thank you very much, guys. Again, uh, please like and subscribe um, if you find this content useful. And thank you very much. Take care, guys.